We got our hands on a fairly interesting CPU, the Ryzen Pro 5 5650G. Now, I was planning on doing a completely different build to this one. As you're about to see, the plan that I had for this had changed, so I built something completely different, but let's find out why. I'd originally planned to do a video where I benchmark the 5650G against the 5600G, so showing the differences, but the truth is there isn't that much difference between the two CPUs. But here's where I have a question for you guys. If you guys want to see a video where I actually do test all the performance of this chip, let me know and I will make a whole video about it. Now the reason why I made this video in the form that you're watching it now is because I wanted to ask you guys that question before I went ahead and did that. So I decided that instead of all of that testing, I would build a beautiful PC to inspire you guys to build beautiful PCs of your own. I decided to make the rest of the hardware other than the CPU as accessible as possible given the current market that we're in. So here's what I came up with. So let's see how it all came together. It has been a hot minute since we've visited our mates over at Peel Corp. So let's see what they've been up to. There's a lot to peel here today. Ooh, sounding pretty good. There's some Peel Corp employees on the other side too. Ooh. All right, we'll get the front cracking now. You ready? Oh, I miss doing this. Woo! Wow, it has been a long time. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I should eat it. But I'm not gonna be doing that today. <laughs> I know the OGs out there were just like, oh, he's gonna eat it. As I mentioned, the Ryzen 5 5600G and the Ryzen Pro 5650G 
are almost identical on paper. So again, I've, I've got to reiterate this. If you guys do want to see me do a full benchmarking video with it, comparing it to the 5600G and the 5600X, I'm happy to do it, but I just need to ask you guys if that's something you actually want to see. I'm curious about the performance as well. So that's another reason why I personally wanted to do it, but I also wanted to build in this case. Considering when we got the Deepcool CG 560, it was completely destroyed. Now the 540 is a pretty similar case to that. However, it's got a solid front with a TG solid front. But the reason why I didn't end up reviewing this case as well is because as, as I found out today, this one also arrived damaged, but it's okay. It's no big deal. Not really that interesting of a case to be absolutely honest with you. So I don't think you're missing out on too much with this case in particular. However, the price is what makes a case like this stand out. And it's actually why I decided to use it for a build like this. Speaking of, let's run it back. Let's talk about all the parts that I use in this PC. So obviously the CPU is the AMD Ryzen Pro 5650G. Availability for this one seems to be a bit odd. The truth is, I'm not even sure how I got this CPU at all because I didn't request it, I didn't ask for it, I didn't buy it. One of the motherboard manufacturers was like, hey, we've got this CPU, this Ryzen Pro CPU, we don't know anything about it, do you want to use it for something? And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out, considering uh, I, I don't really look too much into the Ryzen Pro lineup, so I didn't even know this thing existed and when I received it, I did a bit of research and whatnot, and turns out it's a 5600G with some of those Ryzen Pro features that we'll, we'll probably talk about if we do a video about this CPU specifically, but it's completely up to you guys. It's, it's not gonna be up to me, I'm leaving it up to you. If there's no video, that's because you guys didn't want one. The motherboard is the Gigabyte B550 Aorus Pro. To cool the 5650G, I actually use one of the box coolers. I think it's for a 3600. I don't know, I can't remember, but I had it on the shelf and it had been used a whole bunch of times, which is why I used thermal paste on it. But yeah, I figured, you know what, 65 watt part, a cooler that came with a 65 watt chip, it's gonna work no problems. And because I wanted to kind of inspire you guys to bring the prices down of the stuff that we've been building lately, it made a lot of sense. The RAM is 16 gigs of Team Group Delta at 3200 megahertz. It's a relatively affordable DDR4 RAM kit, which is again, why I decided to go with it. The GPU is the Gigabyte Radeon RX 6600 Eagle. This is the GPU that we used uh, last week for the launch. And you guys are a bit conflicted with the pricing and the performance and everything with this GPU, but I figured because it is one of the lower tier new GPUs from the current generation of GPUs that I would pair it with this CPU, even though this CPU only supports PCIe Gen 3. It's actually the reason why I decided to go with the PCIe Gen 3 M.2 in this system as well. So that's something I want to investigate more with this is with these 6600s and the 6600 XTs, because they use a PCIe Gen 4 by 8 interface, if running it in PCIe Gen 3 with these Ryzen 5000 APUs, if that lowers the performance. That's one thing that I wanna know, so please vote. We're gonna test this Ryzen Pro CPU if this video gets over a thousand likes. Simple as that, right? And it's gotta be a thousand likes before the end of the week. And then I'll do it before the end of the week. So then we'll get it as soon as possible. Cause I wanna know, I actually really do wanna know. Anyway, the cable extensions are BitPhoenix cable extensions. They're the new Alchemy ones. I think they're version three or whatever. I, I was talking to Claire about it before. Cable mod cables, they have a certain smell. These have the same smell. So I suspect they're probably made in the same place as the cable mod cables. Deciding where parts are manufactured based on how they smell. <laughs> And as mentioned already, at some point of this really random build video, the case is the Deepcool CG540. I'll put more details if you want to know about this case in the description down below, but all the fans that you're seeing in this system are the ones that come with the case. You obviously didn't see me adding any in the build section of the video because I didn't want to. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what you could do if you bought a case like this and bought some, I'm, I'm not going to use the word budget, 
because that's a bit bullshit at the moment. <laughs> we all know that. But I'm not going to say affordable because affordable is also bullshit. I'm going to say accessible because you can buy them if you have the money. That's the only word that I think is, is valid for the way the PC market is at the moment. But I think that's just about going to do it. And there will be a PC part picker list down below in the description if you want to know what everything is. Also, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. It's available over on Patreon. There's some new beats today. Probably heard it at the start of the video too. Maybe that's the B-roll track as well. I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't got to that part of the process of making this video yet. But if you like the video, smash the like button. Make sure we get over a thousand likes before the end of the week and we'll test this CPU. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. Don't you dare go anywhere because I've got some eye candy for you. Let's take a look at it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Just don't go anywhere. Help me. A thousand likes before the end of the week. And 200k subs by the end of the year.